Hello and welcome guys. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a Hydra brute force attack. So uh, I'm going to use my Kali Linux machine uh, which is where we're going to use the Hydra tool which we can see is installed. Um, the application we're going to target is going to be damn vulnerable web application which I have installed uh, through uh, Metasploitable uh, 2 so here we can see the application and this is the login form we are going to perform the attack on so the tools we're going to use is going to be like I mentioned Hydra to perform the brute force attack to get some credentials that we can try and log in with and I'm also going to be using uh, a little bit of burp sweep Okay, so what's the first thing we need to worry about when we are going to, uh, or think about when we're going to perform a brute force attack with Hydra? The first thing we need is we need a file containing some usernames and passwords. So right here I have created one file with, that contains some passwords. And the other file that contains some users. And these files are the ones we are going to use in our Hydra attack. Now we're going to use some information uh, that we need when we're going to perform our uh, Hydra command. So this is what the, uh, this is actually broken now but you can see that we need some more information to perform the attack. So I will go through everything. So uh, let's see. So right there, we need to specify that we're going to use Hydra. We need to list our um, file that contains the usernames. And with the dash P, we specified the text file that contains our passwords. And this is where we insert the domain. So for me, this is going to be the IP address of my Met Metasploitable 2 machine. And then we also need to find out what kind of form is being used and what kind of requests are being made to the application. And to find that out, I have started um, Burp Suite in the background. So I'm going to turn Intercept on. And I'm also going to turn on my foxy proxy so what I'm going to do now is just to try to log in this way we can capture uh, the request in burp suite and we can find out what kind of request is being made just gonna forward this now we go to HTTP history and right here we can see that the request being made is a POST request. So that tells us that when we're going to perform the attack, we need to use HTTP POST form. Hydra has various different ones, so that depends on what kind of request is being made. So this is important to check out, guys. Now we need to kind of fulfill our uh, command. So starting inside the double quotes we need to specify the full URL so we already have the IP address what we need now is the rest of the path or URL so we're gonna add this part to our command just like that and now we're going to add our users and passwords. To do this we need to inspect the site and find out what kind of field values the application contains of. So how do I find that out? I'm just going to right click inside of the username field, click on inspect and then we can see that the name is username for this field. I'm going to do the same for password and there we have name password. Okay, and also for the login button, which is actually going to complete our action. Inspect the login button, and then we have name login, type submit. These are all the things we need 
to perform our uh, Hydra attack. So that was username equals and get our uh, user from our file specified earlier in the command. Let's do the same with the password. So the value field was password equals pass. And we also want the login button. And the value there was login and type was submit. And lastly, we also need one more thing. We need to find out what is happening on this page if there is an unsuccessful login attempt. So based on the earlier attempt, when we captured a request to find out what kind of request was being made, we can see that uh, the application gives us the following message, login failed. This is perfect. So we will specify that here so that Hydra knows when an successful attempt is occurring or is happening. So when the login failed message is not appearing on the site after a login attempt, we know we have a successful uh, attack. Now let us try to run this command and hopefully it works. And it does. So we can see highlighted in green color that the username during the login is admin and the password is password. Now, sometimes if you're not really sure if you have entered the correct syntax, because Hydra can be a little bit confusing if you're missing certain arguments, uh, we can also add the verbose uh, argument. And this shows that it's going through all our different users and passwords. So, yeah. And one last thing that is good to check is if this actually works. So the username from our attack was admin and the password was password. And I'm still intercepting. So let's just forward the requests and we can see that we successfully logged in.